You all probably thought that I was some big retard who forgot who forgot what he was supposed to do, but I I just I just fucking figured it out. Let's uh, let's take a look see at my new focus sash. See, I, I couldn't I could not figure out. How Supreme G was supposed to work. I got the substitute. Yeah, I, I got the leech seed. But what was I missing? He kept dying. Bear tick was a fluke. What was I supposed to do? But now, the answer has become so clear. The thing that I've been working towards for what three weeks now. I, it finally made sense. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go get that fucking focus sash. And here we go. We finally have. The world's most unbeatable Pokemon, a level 16 Whimsicott. It would probably be better if I didn't even evolve him, to be honest. Like, the lower HP and defense that he has, the better. But I do think Whimsicott looks cooler than, uh, uh, whatever the Sun one, the, the Cottony. So, uh, you know, I'll take the aesthetic change over slightly better functionality for this strategy. But hey, we fucking did it. We, we finally got it. If I'm missing something else, I'll probably figure it out. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, I said a lot of retarded shit last episode, including not knowing how the strategy worked. But also, I uh, I was very excited to go catch Reshiram. But as it turns out, and if you follow me on Twitter, you know I was shocked and upset to learn this information. But you don't get Reshiram until you beat the Elite Four. So, he will be useless to me until my literal final battle of the game against, I think, N and or Getsis. So for the Elite Four, I'm just fucked. I'm stuck on my own. With with no legendary dragon. I don't even know if I can get, what, Volcrana, the other legendary? I don't even think I can get that. I'm gonna be legendary free. But uh, let's, uh, let's switch, switch out our Pokemon, get rid of the, the Fly Master. And uh, I guess go to Dragon Spiral Tower to fight... Team Plasma. Old Gato Gatow? Gato? Gatiu? Is that an Evoliite pronunciation right there? <laughs> what the fuck is an old Gatio? Wow. It heals all the status problems of a single Pokemon. Okay, it's just like a full heal. We haven't used our bear ticks yet, and I haven't tried to teach them any moves. So I'm gonna do a quick run through of all the TMs and see, maybe you know that Frost Breath TM that I got from the gym leader, maybe that'll be good to give to Bear Tick. Oh, 40 power, and it's special. Uh, but it always results in a critical hit? So then it's just 80 power, like, what's the point? I guess, like if... Critical hits ignore stat changes, right? So maybe if it's like they boost their special defense, you can use this, and it'll act as though it, they didn't boost their defense, maybe, I don't know. Is it even worth to teach it to one of these guys? So Dova is definitely the physical attacker, and <laughs> Dragonite 7, even though he has boosted special attack nature, he's still like the same as Dova. But I guess I'll give him the Frost Breath just in case, you know, I'll have a little bit of move diversity on my two bear ticks. I'm pretty sure there's nothing worth catching in here. If I see something good, I'll catch it, obviously, but yeah, like... Level 31 Golit is not going to compare to motherfucking level 37 Dova. Dova, I have not used you yet. Let's see what you can do with a little icicle crash action. Take a crash course. Hope you guys like that joke. I just came up with that. Super effective crash course, baby. <laughs> Blow him up. Going to be using that pun a whole lot. All right, you Team Plasma scumbag. It's time for a... Crash course in the bare necessities. Go for it, Dova. Yeah. Hit him. <laughs> the hash slinging, the slash ringing, the Dova slinging slasher, baby. <laughs> Lie, pard. More like die, pard. Dova, give him a. Give him a crash course in dying. Go! No! No! Ah, oh, shit. Dova, give him a crash course in dying. Yeah! Oh, shit. That's right. I was looking at this before, but the next gym is fucking dragon. And they're all, like, low 40s. Which means I, I just won. Guys, I made it to the Elite Four. If the next, if the final gym is Dragon level 40, 
and I have level 37 Dova with with those stats plus never melt ice it's it's not even fair like it, it's over I might as well fast forward to the gym battle right now because there's no fucking point I don't even need to catch anything new because for the elite four I'm just gonna catch shit in the uh, in the uh, victory road because that's gonna be the strongest stuff in the game and now that I have two bear ticks there is no reason to catch anything new until after I beat that gym so I, I guess enjoy me just slaughtering through on my way to the gym because there's, there's nothing to catch all right supreme G let's test out your new unbeatable strategy this is the first time using him with the focus band let's see what he can do start off with the leech seed Scraggy, go ahead and try to knock us out in one hit, see what happens. Brick break. Uh, yeah, that'll probably get me down to one. Hey, there you go, but guess what Supreme G this just did? He held on using his focus sash. Uh-oh. What's this? Did he just suck up at least a fourth? Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. That... I guess Scraggy doesn't have enough HP for this to work. I can't use substitute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh Let's- you know what, Supreme G, you did it. <laughs> hey, he didn't die! He didn't die, and that's all you can ask for. I'll- I'll save money not using revives. Let's go to, uh... Let's go to Smug. Supreme G, you know, that'll work great against guys who are all level 45 and have 200 base HP. <laughs> Maybe not little tiny baby Scraggy. Oh no! Four adult men teaming up on a ten-year-old girl? What is this? Size porn folder? What is this? Digibro's porn folder? What is this? Uncle Alex's porn folder? What is this? David Clegg's porn folder? Why do so many pedophiles become my friend? Okay, Supreme G, let's try again. I think Crocorock will be bulky enough for you to for you to suck up at least 12 health, I think. Because if you have one left and Substitute does a fourth, you need to have at least 13 health for it to work. Oh, okay, but we still suck them up. Which means, uh, if they use Dig, then we don't even need the, the fucking item. We can just go straight for the Substitute. So that's perfect. He played himself. You played yourself, my friend. And let's see if we do suck up all the health back to perfection, perfect full health. Suck up at least 12. I know you can do it. Oh, well. See, why why is it not doing that much? It, it did a whole lot more when he was holding that, uh, that special seed thing, but he doesn't have that anymore. So he can't do that. But I... I, I don't know. It'll probably work against the Elite Four because they'll have so much HP that surely Supreme G will suck up more. Unless it, it only sucks up a percentage of my health rather than the opponent's, but I, I really don't think so. I don't know. But he can't hold two items at once, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do because I can't give him the, the suck seed thing. He has to hold the focus band. Oh, finally, we made it to the top. Not to catch the uh, Supreme Dragon Pokemon, though, like I was hoping, but just to watch a cutscene, and then hopefully I can make a beeline for the 8th gym. Oh, I'm going to Relic Castle, which means I can probably catch a high-level Cofagrigus, that one, um, like, Pharaoh Tomb Pokemon, and I have been hoping... Wait, no, maybe they'll have Volcrona there, too, but I've been hoping to get something that can use Will-O-Wisp. Because Will-O-Wisp plus uh, Leech Seed would be fucking perfect. Let's see what I can catch downstairs in the Relic Castle. I can't catch Volcrona until after I beat the Elite Four, so fuck that. But can I really get a level 50 Cofagrigus in, in this shit? I'll try. I mean, even level 37 would be good, but if I can really get level 50, talk and talk about a game changer. Level 50 Cofagrigus with Will-O-Wisp and and Shadow Ball. Hell yeah. Let's uh let's go give it a shot.
Cofagrigus, level 37? 35, nope, too weak. Too weak. If I find a 37, I'll catch it just in case I don't find anything better. But a 35 is a no-go. Shadow Ball, that'll be pretty good if I get a Cofagrigus, even though I don't need one. <laughs> why do I want to get one again? I just remembered I don't need it for the 8th gym, so why would I even catch it? If it's not level 50, what's the point? Okay, I think this is as deep as you can go. So maybe this is the pit, the bottom pit where you can catch the high level Cofagrigus. I'm not sure. I think I have to fight one of these fucking boss guys right now. And I don't think I healed up my bear ticks all the way. But let's see what we have to do. Oh, he's just leaving. I don't have to do anything. Okay. No, don't go outside! No, you fuck! That's fine. I, I'm I'm almost positive that's the bottom pit, so I'll just go back in by myself, you fucking assholes. No, don't make me go somewhere else. I want to go catch a, a Pokemon that Nintendo themselves banned from online trading because the name contains F-A-G Fag. You couldn't even trade a Cofagrigus because they, they thought you'd give it a naughty nickname. So, I guess joke's on... All of us? Because <laughs> we can't get a shitty fucking tomb Pokemon online. We're going back. Alright, we're back here. Let's see if I am correct. Let's switch over to Supreme G so that we can paralyze whoever we find. I don't see how you could go much deeper than this. Kofragor gets level 48, 49, or 50! Let's go! What level are you? Oh, what the fuck? Come on! Come on my face! What is this, B6 then? How do you get to B7? Where in the fuck is B7? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Where is it? How much deeper could this rabbit hole go? I don't really want level 37. I do want to teach Will-O-Wisp to something, but not like this. Not like this, Cofagrigus. No, stun spore him. Alright, Smug, help me catch your replacement. Probably your replacement. I, we'll, we'll check his stats. If he has a, a good special attack. Ooh, curse. Oh my god, I forgot about Curse. That might be even better than any burn strategy. Because that if, if the opponent only has one Pokemon left and you get off Curse, that is guaranteed an automatic win. It's just like um, Perish Song, my old favorite from the that one Nuzlocke. I don't remem remember which one. We gotta catch him. He's pretty low. Let's go with one of our <laughs> 39 Ultra Balls. Go for it. If he was level 50 and he had Curse, that'd be even better, but I'll, I'll take what I can get. And we got him. Let's see who gets to be level 37, Cofagrigus. And the winner is one letter who says, pick me. So there you go, I picked you. And I guess Cofagrigus will now be one letter. A somehow less offensive name than the one he already had. All right, let's see how one letter compares to Smug to see who... Well, I mean, one letter has Curse, so he's almost guaranteed to be better just because I want to use Curse. He has a special attack of 85 as opposed to a boosted attack of uh, 83, so power-wise he's already better. Much higher defense, even though his normal defense is lowered by his... That's a really shitty nature for Cofagrigus. Lowered defense and high speed. It really should be the opposite. A much better special defense. Uh, yeah, he's better in every way. So, yeah, fuck off. We'll, we'll get rid of Smug, we'll get one letter, and we will teach him Shadow Ball, and Will-O-Wisp, hopefully. And, man, with that curse, as soon as the opponent only has one Pokemon left, I'm gonna say, guess what? I win! Fuck you! Fuck you! And there you go. Spell tag boosts the power of ghost type moves. I don't remember where I got this from, but you better believe I'm gonna give it to our new friend. Looks like we'll have to teach Dragonite 7 Surf, but I think that'll be okay. 
I know these power and guard split moves might be useful, but... And scary face too, that'd be really good to lower speed. Um... I don't know, is is Shadow Ball worth it? Like, he's gonna be a low level anyway, so his, his attack... But he... I don't know, he has kind of high special attack. Maybe I should go for the the super boosted Shadow Ball to do some damage. But if I'm using Curse anyway, what's the point? Also, Substitute will be good for stalling once I get Curse working, and unless I die in one hit, which will be fine, because I got the Curse off anyway. Uh... The, you know what, I'm just gonna say fuck it, I'm gonna get rid of these three to teach him Substitute, Shadow Ball, and Will-O-Wisp. Because, uh, that's what I prefer. And if it's a shitty idea, I can just go catch another Cofagrigus. So, there you go. Alright, one letter, let's see what you can do against a level 30 Palpitoad in the rain. What should we go for? Just a Shadow Ball to see how much that does with the spell tag on you. Oh, he, he, he tried to use a normal attack. Shadow Ball, what are we gonna do? Holy shit! Yeah, I'd say one letter is probably pretty good. And I am pretty sure we have a rival battle coming up. So that'll be a, a good way to truly test his, his stalling and shadow balling abilities. It'd be really nice if I had a leftovers on him with how much he's getting his own health deteriorated and how much he's meant to stall. And I think I get, I think I'll get leftovers very, very soon. So what do you know? Oh, uh, what? Some of us are working in the Relic Castle. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? I was told to go this way. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the museum. I thought they meant go to the museum in the 8th gym town, but no. And I don't have Fly, because I just put him back. So I have to I have to backtrack and go get Fly and go to the fucking museum. Stupid bullshit. Okay, Fly, take us to the museum to keep doing the fun storyline of the game. Nacreen's, yep, that sure is Nacreen City. I sure am a fucking idiot. Here we go.